I'm going to talk to you today about health literacy and the use of pictograms. Health literacy refers to the ability of individuals to access and use health information to make appropriate health decisions and maintain basic health. It includes whether individuals can read and act upon written health information as well as whether they possess the speaking skills to communicate their health needs to the health professionals and act on the instructions they receive. This map shows the proportion of adult Canadians who are at a level 2 or lower health literacy level. Level 2 is defined as a capacity to deal only with simple, clear material involving uncomplicated tasks, and people at this level may develop everyday coping skills, but their poor literacy makes it hard to conquer challenges such as the learning, learning new job skills. Overall, the average level of health literacy in Canada is low. 60% of adult Canadians lack the capacity to obtain, understand, and act upon health information and services and to make appropriate health decisions on their own. The average health literacy varies significantly by province and territory, and Yukon Territory demonstrates the highest level of official language health literacy and none of it the lowest. Also, the proportion of adults with low levels of health literacy is significantly higher among certain groups, a finding that raises questions of equity. To bridge the gap, patients to get to bridge the gap for these patients, we can try the addition of a pictogram to supplement existing health information. A pictogram is an image that conveys its meaning through its pictorial resemblance to a physical object. Pictograms are a special type of graphic. They are simple drawings that represent ideas and they can help a person grasp, understand, and remember medical information quickly. Pictograms have a long history dating back to cave wall paintings and Renaissance stained glass windows. Today, road signs are a common, common example of pictograms. A sign with a simple picture of a school bus conveys the more complex message not only that a school bus is likely to go down the road, but also that drivers should be alert to the possibility that children might walk across the road. In this slide, we see a stop sign, a no smoking sign, the Apple logo, cigarette health warning labels, the Twitter logo, and the Nike logo. These are all everyday symbols that easily convey messages to us all. Now I'm going to show you a quick video on how pictograms may be useful to a healthcare professional and their patient. Bear with me for a bit while we watch this video because I'm going to start and stop in order to show you the key parts relating to the interaction between the patient and the healthcare professional. Here we go. Uh, Linda Tremblay. Hi, Linda. How are you? So. You good? Do you speak uh, any English at all? Or? Mm. No? Well, I'll try to explain your medication to you. Um, we have your, your naproxen, and this is for your muscle pains. So when you have pains, muscle aches, like ow, okay, okay. here and there, um, you take one, one a day, um, in the morning after breakfast. So when you wake up, you take one, and when you're finished eating, you take one. Okay. It's a simple and clear language, multimedia elements such as video and computer resources, and then the use of illustration can also help. Hi Dan, how was your shift today? Oh, my shift went fairly well today. Except I had uh, this one patient and she only spoke French. So it was difficult for me to explain her medication to her. And I don't think that she fully understood how to take her medication. Hmm. Yeah, that's a tough problem. Um, there is a solution available. Sometimes the use of pictograms can help illustrate and supplement the, uh, the verbal d instructions that you give to the patient. Maybe sometime when it's quieter, we can explain and dis discuss the process together. Yeah, that'd be great. Thank okay. you. Have a good shift. And now we'll see the pharmacist counseling the patient with the use of a pictogram. Okay. So this medicine is called 
naproxen. There's the naproxen. It's one tablet. One tablet with food. And just one time a day in the morning. Okay. And it's for for pain. For pain? Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Have a good day, Linda. So this is a medical information sheet as we saw the pharmacist give to the patient in the last video. Dispensing a medication along with a medical information sheet has the potential to increase understanding, increase recollection, increase comprehension, increase compliance, and increase health outcomes. Development of pictograms. Um, in development of pictograms, it's important to consider the following. Cultural sens sensitivity. It's important to use a focus group. Consult members of cultural communities. Be clear and consistent in your design. And correctly they must be correctly interpreted by a majority of individuals. So cultural sensitivity is important and needs to be specific in order to ensure the proper message is being relayed. One pictogram can mean one thing in one culture and mean something different or be unknown to another culture. Focus groups that target the intended user are required. The pictogram at the top that we see here showing take with food is used in a culture where meals are mainly composed of fish and cereal on the left. And while the pictogram on the right is used in a culture whose typical diet is chicken and rice. The other table here shows an example of focus group feedback for a pictogram representing drowsiness. In conclusion, pictures in addition to writ written and spoken language can increase patient attention, comprehension, recall, and compliance. In many cases, these benefits are large. The effectiveness of health communications can be significantly increased by including pictures in the design of new health education materials. The simplicity of pictograms are also a key factor to their success. Realistic photographs may be effective in drawing attention, but because the camera captures so many details, the details may interfere with comprehension. Effective use of pictograms builds on a foundation of clear language. Pictograms will be more easily understood when the accompanying text is clear. Captions that describe what is happening in a pictogram can often be written at a low literacy level, thereby helping people with limited reading skills understand the intended meaning of the pictogram. As most of us in this class work in the health field, I hope my presentation tonight opened your thoughts on improving patient communication. Thank you.